welcome to the third session under the phylum Onychophora. In this particular video, we will be discussing about uh, how phylum Onychophora or Peripatus is related with the uh, annelids, related with the uh, arthropods, and then with the uh, mollusca. Where the annelids and arthropods relation is more important because the peripatus or onychophora are considered as a connecting link between annelida and the arthropoda that we have already discussed so let us see the first one annelidian features that is found in the peripatus the first one is a vermiform body with truncated extremities a vermiform body means we can see here the worm like appearance Okay, so the worm like appearance is there for the peripatus or in Onychophora, which is similar to the worm appearance like uh, the annelida. For example, this one on the left side is the nearest and this one is the leech. So one more thing you can find, uh, the sucker present in the leech is similar to the mouth region of the peripatus. Okay, so the vermiform body is one of the important character which make peripatus more similar to the annelids. And then second thing is the indistinct head. So you can see here this is the head region of the nearest. Okay, so there is no specialized head region. Instead it is connected with the trunk region itself. There is no neck region which is actually separating the head from the trunk. Similarly, you can see, you cannot find any distinct structures which is actually separating head region and the trunk region of the peripatus. So that is the second character. Okay, the third one is the dermomuscular body wall that is composed of flexible cuticle with underlying circular and longitudinal muscles. We have already discussed with what is mean by dermomuscular body wall and all. So let us see the figure. So this is a cross section of one of the annelids that is earthworm, and this is a cross section of the peripatus. So we can see here the skin or the body wall is formed of cuticle, epidermis, circular muscle, longitudinal muscle. In the same way, here also you can find cuticle here, peripatus cross section. Also you can find the body wall is composed of cuticle epidermis, dermis, circular muscle, longitudinal muscle. So it is having almost the same body wall just like annelids. So that is the third character which makes the peripatus similar to the annelids or related to the annelids. Now the fourth one. Locomotion is slow and by peristalsis as in case of the earthworm. When we discussed about the longitudinal and the circular muscles in the body wall in the previous sessions so we have told that uh, the two muscles are concerned with the peristalsis movement and the same kind of peristalsis movement is present in the peripatus which are found in annelids in earthworm and all we can see the movement is through the peristalsis which is with the help of numerous supporting structures just like earthworm, sea and all. Okay, in the same way, peripatus or onychophoran members are also showing the peristalsis movement, which are similar to the peristalsis movement in annelids. Now, the structure of eye is simple as in case of the polychaete. So, instead of compound eyes that is present in the arthropoda, the eyes of the peripatus is similar to the symbol eyes that is present in the annelida. Now, another peculiar feature, important feature is unjointed hollow stumpy appendages like a parapodia. So, we have learned about the parapodia in case of the nearest which is helping in the locomotion as well as for the respiration in nearest. Similar kind of unsegmented appendage is present in this particular parapodia peripatus. So, the peripatus step foot is actually similar to the parapodia that is present in iris like a 
analytics. So that is the next uh, comparable feature. Now next one is a simple street elementary canal with a terminal mouth and uh, anus. So there is nothing to explain there in that particular point as you have, you have to remember that point also. Now next one is a segmentally arranged uh, paired uh, nephridia. So we can see that in case of the earthworm we have learned about different types of nephridia. Okay, which are uh, just uh, the type of pharyngeal nephridia is there, integumentary which is present on the integument and uh, in between the segments we can find septal nephridia. So different types of nephridia is there. The similar organization even though it is not differentiated into three can also be found in case of the peripatus. So you can see here the nephridia is organized uh, in this way. Just like uh, spiracles are not regularly present uh, in peripatus, that nephridia is also not regularly present like uh, earthworm. But still, it is showing a comparable organization just like that of the annelids. So you can see the zoomed version of the figure here. So this is actually representing the nephridia. So these ones are the nephridia. So nephridial organization is similar to the annelid feature in case of the peripatus okay now similar excretory glands we have already discussed that the presence of cilia in the excretory and reproductive duct is another analgian feature that we are we can find in case of the peripatus or onychophora so these are the main analgian characters that are present in peripatus so this particular affinities are important this will be frequently coming in the university examination you have to focus on that and learn it perfectly now we are moving into arthropodan characters